Hello there, my name is Gandalf Lechner and I'm a senior lecturer at the School of Mathematics at Cardiff University. You might be watching this because you're considering to study here and probably you wonder what that would be like. To give you an impression of university level mathematics, in this video I want to show you an example of how mathematics can appear in unexpected places and lead to the study of structures and patterns, much like solving a puzzle. I want to take you on a quick tour from combing your hair to braids and knots and on to cryptography and quantum physics. The objects that we will be concerned with are not numbers, but rather so-called braids represented by certain two and three dimensional pictures. When you hear the word braid, you probably think of a picture like this. And indeed, a mathematical braid is quite similar. It consists of a number of strands that can be entangled in an arbitrary fashion. The idea is that the strands are fixed on the left and right of the diagram, so that disentangling the braid is usually not possible. As strands of hair, the strands of a mathematical braid are flexible. That means you can twist them like this, or like that, or in various other ways, without really changing the braid. Here is another example of a braid now with seven strands. Usually one represents braids by two-dimensional diagrams like this one here. Okay, but where's the mathematics in such pictures, you might ask? The most important observation is that one can combine any two braids to give a new one. For example, consider this braid called A and that one called B. Then we can join A and B like this in order to get a new braid which we call the product of A and B or simply AB. This will work with any two braids as long as they have the same number of strands. In many ways this is similar to multiplying numbers but there's also one important difference. For the product of braids the order of the factors matters. Namely, when we exchange A and B, we see that the product of B and A is usually different from the product of A and B, as in this example. Apart from this curiosity, there are, however, several similarities to numbers. As far as products are concerned, the braid without any crossings that you see here behaves like the number 1. It has a property that when multiplied with an arbitrary braid B, it gives again B, just like multiplying 1 with any number x gives again x. We therefore refer to the special braid with no crossings as the identity braid or simply 1. You can also divide by braids. Dividing by a number x is the same as multiplying with 1 over x and x times 1 over x is 1. Similarly, if you look for example at this braid, b, there is another braid that we will call the inverse of b or simply 1 over b because it has the property that multiplying b and 1 over b returns the identity braid. If you like puzzles, you can now ask yourself how to find the inverse braid 1 over b for an arbitrary braid b. For instance, what is 1 over b in case b is this braid? That is, which braid do you have to multiply b with in order to resolve all crossings? To summarize, braids can be represented by diagrams of horizontal strands with over and under crossings and their main mathematical features are the product of braids, given by joining braid diagrams, the identity braid with no crossings, and the operation of forming inverse braids. Using the idea that the strands are flexible, each braid B can be disentangled to the identity braid 1 by multiplication with its inverse braid 1 over B. As you see, you can now do actual calculations with braid diagrams forming products and inverses. In mathematical language, 
Braids form what is called a group, an important concept that has applications in all areas of mathematics. I want to show you one more operation that you can do with braids. Namely, you can take any braid diagram, in vertical form here for a change, and close it by joining the strands at the top and bottom. What you get is no longer a braid, but a knot or link. Knots have fascinated mathematicians since a very long time. As you can see here, closing a braid can lead to all kinds of different knots. And in fact, any knot can be realized by closing an appropriate braid. In general, it is a very difficult question to decide whether a knot can be completely disentangled or not. I hope this convinces you that there's a lot of mathematics hidden in braids and the diagrams. Even today, there are still many challenging questions connected to braids. The answers to some of them are known, but others are yet unsolved. Of course, you might wonder why you should be interested in braids at all. There are two answers to that. On the one hand, braids play a role and link many areas of modern mathematics, such as, for example, algebra, topology, mathematical physics, and many more. On the other hand, braids also play a role in applications. You may write any braid as a product of several braids that only have a single crossing each. Doing so, a braid diagram can be converted into a code which can be implemented efficiently on a computer. And people have invented cryptographic schemes that take advantage of the fact that some problems in braid groups are very difficult to solve. Another application comes from quantum physics, which is also my own research area. Namely, braids can be used to describe the properties of certain elementary particles in low dimensions. Roughly speaking, there exist configurations of two particles such that it makes a difference whether the particles are exchanged like this or like that, analogous to the over and under crossings in a braid diagram. There's also ongoing research investigating how such effects can be used to realize more stable quantum computers. I hope this video gave you an impression of what mathematics can look like. When studying at Cardiff, you would learn about groups in year one and two, and we currently offer a reading module on knots in year three. We also have a growing number of modules on mathematical quantum physics in our MMath and master programs. Hope to see you soon on one of these courses.